Hey everybody, Dan here with Doodin Outdoors. We got another video with Jeremy from V3 Gun Dogs. Go ahead and explain what this video is gonna be about. So I get a bunch of phone calls from people asking, what do I do with my dog when I bring my dog home at eight weeks old? So what I'm gonna do is show you how to be successful with your puppy from the ages of eight weeks to about 20 weeks old. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for this video. Hey guys, Jeremy from V3 Gun Dogs here. We got Ian, Belgian Malinois, who's about 17 weeks old. Ian is from DSWK Malinois out of Florida, bred by Bebo Santana. We understand that Ian is not a hunting dog, but I basically start all my hunting dogs very similar in how we raise our police dogs. And how that's done is through food. Our dogs are raised through food, out of hand, teaching them that they survive through us. Basic foundations that I teach the dog is to move away and come back. The move away command is simple with the away command, throwing food, making the dog move away from us, hunt using their nose for their food, and then drawing them back, utilizing their name for the recall. The reason behind that is because we want their name to shut their world down, forget about everything that they're doing around them, and come running right back to you. This is very important in the field because when you're hunting your dog, you wanna be able to yell your dog's name, your dog stops what they're doing and runs back to you. And basically, it's a safe environment that you're putting your dog into. The dog could be running out into traffic, into other hunters, into barbed wire, into situations that might be harmful for them. And I want their name to stop everything so you can bring them into safety or just have basic control over them. So what we're gonna do here is get Ian's attention with the food, make him understand that we're doing a drill. And I'm gonna throw the food saying away and then I'm going to draw him back with his name. Ian! Yes. Good boy. So some differences and some things I would like you guys to do at home is instead of using a clicker, maybe using your voice. And as you can tell, I was using the marker word yes. Every time that dog came back to me, I'd give him food and say yes. You're not going to need the clickers uh, with your hunting dog because you're not going to be able to carry a clicker out into the field. Um, I use clickers with our police dogs because a lot of their foundation work for protection and detection is through their the clickers. Um, so I'm going to show you guys again without much uh, introduction here. Away. In. Yes. Good boy. Show you one more time. Away. In. Yes. Good boy. So it's pretty basic. Tell your dog away. As soon as he starts eating the food, draw him back with his name using some uh, some lures with as of food and getting him into position and giving him his reward. If you have any questions, any concerns, any comments, give us a call over at V3 Gun Dogs. Like us, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, reach out to us via email, uh, through social media, or a phone call. All right, so hopefully you found that video helpful. Uh, make sure you reach out to Jeremy if you have any questions, if you need to get any more detail on that drill, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. What do you think would be the placing, correct? Yeah, we're gonna do the place command, recall into a heel. And how does that work for bird dogs? So the place command teaches control, patience, ability to move away and be patient away from you, and then it also helps draw the dog back in, teach them what position they need to be in when they recall. Awesome. Like I said, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, Check out Jeremy's channels on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all the social media platforms, and stay tuned for that next video. Thanks for watching.